What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel City Boy Farming And in this video we're just going to be doing a little gardening tour Seeing what I've been up to Seeing what I've been working with uh, Got some interesting things I'm going to be showing you what I planted From seed and Also what is naturally Growing in my yard So it's pretty much it, pretty basic, pretty simple <laughs> start with the front yard and I just want to talk about my peppermint this is peppermint and I like peppermint because it keeps away the spiders uh, my wife don't like spiders so she's like oh let's keep the peppermint so I did so I, I kept peppermint in this row and it smells so good when you hit it you get that peppermint uh, smell and then you can actually get an oil extractor and use all this peppermint and make uh, peppermint oil and like a little diffuser also you can dehydrate these uh, you can do so much with these you can chew them you can put these in some salads I don't know what people do with peppermint leaves but you can do a lot with them uh, next to my peppermint is this is a mammoth sunflower it started off late well actually it got hurt it kind of chopped off and got hurt and what I did was replant it, replant it, put it in the center of my shockwaves. These are shockwaves right here. They used to be a little, but now they're moving around, moving everywhere. Uh, so the mammoth will get about 10 feet tall or 12, 10 or 12 feet. And yeah, they look beautiful. This right here is a Peaks Pike or Pike's Peak. I think it's Pike's Peak. Uh, and they get about 15 feet tall. Uh, I do have that right there. So they go some more mint, get some more shockwaves. And yeah, so I got the sunflower right here. Sunflower, Pike's Peak, and the mammoth. Now, surprisingly, <laughs> I accidentally dropped a honeydew seed right here. And now I have a honeydew plant. Right here, growing in, you can see the little flowers, little honeydew flowers, and all that. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So I was, I might as well let this keep growing. So that's my idea. I'm letting this keep growing. Now on this side, I have. Now this is uh, again, this is the natural grown stuff right here. This is spearmint, and it smells so good. You can see it already flowering, and what they do, they produce the seed. The seeds, so I kept the spearmint because it smells way better than peppermint. I mean, I believe it smells better than peppermint. I got to be careful because it just rained and it snails everywhere. I don't, I don't like the sound of crunchy snails. S car smash, but uh, yeah, these these little things are invasive as well. They grow everywhere, and I don't like it right here. I got plants so I already, it used to be bushy, flowery, everything. I uh, made sure I can dig some of this stuff up and did what I did. And now more grass start growing back. So I did that. Now I got a tiller. I'm gonna just till all this up and plant some perennials right here. I don't know what kind. See, look at that. You had to be careful. Look at that snail. You have to be careful where I'm walking. Now right here I have some autumn's bloom these are all sunflowers by the way some autumn bloom some mammoth and some pike's peak what i was talking about this is what i was talking about right here with the mammoth sunflower this is what it looks like and it was about 10 feet tall it's pretty long so i can break these up and use these as trellis i have another one somewhere i gotta find it all right now i have my potatoes So they starting to flower. I was told to let the flowers die off or cut them so it could produce all the energy when go to the flowers and go straight to the potatoes. So remember, this is the seven gallon grow bag. I got my Chicago pickling cucumbers. See, I got some cucumbers showing up. Pretty, pretty cool. Not too bad. Uh, over here, I have this plant right here is a jalapeno plant. These are my peppers and beans. 
As you can see, I got a couple peppers coming out. Coming out. I had a big one, but I can't find it. In here somewhere, as you can see, these are the long, oh, they go to the jalapeno right there. And the cayenne pepper. Right there. Cayenne pepper right there. So in the back is cayenne peppers. And I had some ghost peppers. And I got these up front are the chili peppers. The red chili. So they doing pretty good. And what I didn't know, like I was saying, this is a pole bean plant. It's doing pretty well. See, I got it in the, look at that. Got it in a nice size grow bag. This is grow bag, it's off of Amazon. So I, I call this the spicy bean area. <laughs> Cause I got my peas and peppers in here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that one. See, I got a couple of peppers, cayenne peppers. These are long red cayenne. They doing pretty, they doing pretty well growing up this. I had to stick a pole right here because I didn't know they need a pole to get taller. I thought pole beans because they get long. See, I got some nice amount of beans right here growing. I love growing beans because they produce a lot. Like you can never grow, grow wrong. See what I did there, grow wrong with beans. Look at this. That's beautiful. I grew that. You ever said to yourself, like, I grew that? Like, come on now. Um, next to it, I have some peas. I forget what kind of brand these was. I brought these uh, already grown. Not like this, but the plant itself. And I did plant some, I did plant some from seed. And show you what that look like over there. So the one I planted from seed are doing way better, even though they're not on a trellis, which I find very interesting. Now this over here, I've been growing yellow and blue lake beans. They doing so well. You can see all this. I've been getting a whole bunch of beans from. So I was like, I mean, I'm gonna just start growing beans that don't need like a trellis in a pot. Pretty cool. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, with this over here, it's like a little project I've been trying to get a get with. See, Pr producing more flowers. See, producing more flowers. Now over here, I had, as you can see, these right here with some wild carrots. I was trying to figure out if they really were wild carrots or not, but they are. Uh, I didn't really do much with them. I just pulled them because I wanted to see for myself. And next to them, I have collars. These are Georgia collard greens, and I let this one. Oh man, All right, let me scoot this one over just a little. Let's scoot that one over just a little, because you can see that it's being attacked by a cabbage white caterpillar. Uh, it's a whole bunch of them on here, so don't let that one just fool you. If you see one, there's plenty. And so these right here are my uh, collard greens. And next to my collard greens are my broccoli that I already harvested, and some starting producing side shoots. So I started using the side shoots and the leaves for my tortoise. Uh, they love eating flowery plants and leafy greens. So that's what I've been doing over here, just giving it to them. And in the center of this is a cabbage. So you can see the little cabbage head popping up. That's not bad at all. Next to it, I have cauliflower. See the leaves on the cauliflower are huge. So I had to pluck that off. They said once you pluck that off, it can start growing side shoes. So I want to see it. So I got more little cauliflower right there. And fennel. I had to throw in some herb over here because I thought I was going to get some more caterpillars. And I have more cabbage. You can see the cabbage being formed. Next to it, I have a raspberry bush. I'm sorry, not a raspberry, a blue, a uh, blackberry bush. See them thorns producing pretty well. Uh, it's not bad. It's doing pretty good. And over here are the peas I was talking about. So these are the peas I grew. It got knocked off. I had it on the trellis, and the wind, we had a windy day, and then knocked it off some. So it got more produce. I grew. I got a whole bunch from these. 
a whole bunch of peas from here. Uh, and it's just been growing ever since. I'm trying to see like right there, see some peas right there. Uh, I probably got some more under. Yeah, see, look at that. That's probably ready, that's ready. Pull it off, save that for later. These, uh, this is my rattlesnake watermelon. And it's starting to grow really well. If you follow my TikTok, uh, I actually showed my rattlesnake germination in a napkin method. Also, I do have a video on here that I do how I germinate my watermelon seeds. And it's doing really well over here, it's starting to produce more leaves. Look at that. And I'm gonna show you some more that I have in a, one, in a minute. Now over here is my corn. My sweet yellow corn is doing really well. And two of them really coming along. This one really not working with me. I had four in here. I really got three, but mostly I really got two. Uh, and it's not too, it's not doing too bad. And look at this one. This one is doing perfect. I just gotta feed them some more. I'll show you how I feed them later on. Uh, I have now my rhubarb. I don't know if anybody like rhubarb, but that's what this is in here. Uh, it's rhubarb. I have potatoes in here. I got it in peat moss. Oh yeah, it's starting to grow up. So I have it in peat moss and just regular, regular potting soil in a tub. So those potatoes over there and these potatoes right here. I have my big boy watermelon, not watermelon. I have my big boy <laughs> cantaloupe. I have my big boy tomatoes. So I think they should be, they need to be pollinated. Hopefully some bees got to it. And this right here is the vertical uh, cantaloupe I have growing. Let's see, I'm trying to, that one is a female. So you got a fruit at the bottom of it. So when that open up, I'm gonna do some videos on how I pollinate it. Uh, ooh. It's a long garden tour. <laughs> like it. And these right here are more peppers. These are, if I can find the name of them, I want to say more red chili peppers and ghost peppers. And got a couple down here. And more peppers down there. Now I have some strawberries coming in. Look at the beautiful strawberries, flowers. They're coming in really well. Got one forming. Them strawberries over there for me. It's not bad at all. And right here are more. These are rattlesnake one, two, three, four rattlesnake watermelons. This one here is a yellow crimson watermelon. So it's doing pretty well. So I got some buckets for them. You can see, I want to see what they look like under. Let's see. I have some buckets for them. Let's see what they look like. Let's see ya. And see the root the root system so definitely got to plant these because these roots are getting bigger i'm gonna have to buy some more soil for my buckets and i'm gonna use some ground soil uh and on this side i have more uh chicago pickling cucumbers these this right here is a sierra gold cantaloupe so got these growing pretty wild and this side is a heart of gold cantaloupe not bad at all. And I have more sugar baby watermelons. Not bad at all. That one's starting to show some more vine. So that's good. So when it start vine, I can, start, I can train it up this tomato cage that I have it on. And now we on this side, we have, this is spaghetti squash. Yep, this is spaghetti squash, and we can probably find a couple of females. All right, it's down there. See, you see that? That's the flower, and that's the female uh, of the. Uh, that's the female from the fruit or squash. I'm sorry, of the squash. So this is the whole spaghetti squash thing, and this is the male flower. You can tell it's skinny with no uh, fruit at the bottom of it. 
I'm cool. This is my cherry tree. It died, but I think it's slowly coming back. So I'm not, I'm not really upset. I, I hope it's slowly coming back. So I'm gonna let y'all know next year on that one. And under this bin is my compost. And you can see with my compost, it was a lot of grasshoppers. I start growing melons. I, I grew some melon seeds under here. And I gotta dig that up. And I guess it's doing really well because the melon seeds start growing. And it smell like, it smell real fresh. So I get pineapples, bell peppers, ants. Ants. <laughs> Old banana peels, roots. So I just keep them like that. And I had a little few worms in there. This right here is a blackberry bush. No, I'm sorry, not blackberry. A, a mulberry bush. And you could just take the little dark berries and eat them. They taste so sweet. Whoever got a sweet tooth, sweet tooth. And love fruit, you'll love this. See, see little black mulberries. It's a rain barrel. Gotta be careful because mosquitoes can get in there. So it's a rain barrel and you should, you should have something that collects rain water so you don't have to use up your uh, phone, uh, phone bill, your water, your water bill. I got wheatgrass. As you can see, I have wheatgrass. And I had a whole, I have a whole bunch and I'm growing sideways. So I don't know what's going on over here. So I need to fix this up. This right here is a strawberry. I grew this one from seed, like, and look, got a small little strawberry. Look at that. How small that strawberry coming off? Look how strong, small this strawberry is gonna be. Some tiny strawberries. And I grew that from seed. I wanna talk about the rosemary I have. And it's doing really well. It was, first it was starting off slow, but now it's doing really well. Uh, I love making this, make a, uh, salmon and putting some rosemary on it. Woo! Y'all remember when I made some lamb chops? I put rosemary on it. This, this some good stuff. You gotta have. Now it. this right here is my zucchini squash, and I might have to thin out, thin back on some leaves. Uh, you can see zucchini back there, like it's dying off. It wasn't probably properly uh, pollinated. So I got another zucchini growing in right here. And another one somewhere in the center. Let me see what this looks like. Gotta make sure it's okay. I gotta find a proper way to get some honeybees or grow them myself. I got some bell peppers coming in right there. I had one, but a squirrel took a, took advantage of it. A little flower. I now I, you can see my look at that snail. Snail just eat my plant. Now you can see that. I have a Brussels sprouts bush, bush plant, and the Brussels sprouts are coming in. But now I'm getting invaders, getting invaders on it. And like, Alf is an atheist, excuse me, are tearing up my leaves. So I'm gonna have to chop some stuff down and let produce energy to the actual Brussels sprout. And you can see some more, I got peppers in here as well. And with my peppers, I have a a grapevine growing in. It's growing back in, so I'm excited. I'm happy. Now we about to go inside my greenhouse. And actually, take a look. Ooh, it's hot. So hopefully, I'll be all right. This is when I collected milkweed leaf with a monarch caterpillar egg on it. And this right here is where I keep all my uh plant food make sure they all stay healthy gotta make sure the plants stay healthy i want to show you my cayenne peppers these are not the long version but these are the short ones and what you do is let them grow and then you freeze them for your for the winter and this is the bush i was the tomato plant this is a big boy tomato plant that i was beating up and trying to grab to my potato plant and that didn't work out, so I did let it grow, chop the middle off, chop some ends off and let it grow. And that's doing really well. This one right here is, I grew from seed as well. It's another orange tree, I believe. So I gotta make sure I get that together. I'm gonna give that one away to somebody. Um, this right here, oh, yep. I'm gonna have to trim everything up. Don't worry, guys, I'm I'm getting there. Uh, I had to make sure I had the barrier, a barrier 
to make sure nothing actually come in here. And this is my mango tree growing even taller. I gotta repot that one. And I do have my sweet potatoes. And my sweet potatoes, they're doing really well. And these are my peanuts. They they coming along very well, my peanuts. That is that is is it that is it for it in here. And it is burning up like super hot. So I'm about to get out. And I want to talk about my greenhouse. So the greenhouse I got from Walmart, it was roughly like 600 bucks. I believe in this a uh, six by six by 10. But make sure you secure it down because it will blow away in the wind and you're going to have parts like that. Some that's open. Not really. Got to make sure it stays secure. So this is my first time ever doing some big type of gardening like this. Excuse me. And I really hope that I can get to it and get things going. So this is why I'm this is why I'm working with y'all. This is why I have and trust me there will be more. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. This is my garden tour. Garden tour. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment. I want to try new things. I want to try to to actually make stuff look great from my garden, make my yard look even better, make it look organized. I am going to get a nice little spot that gets lots of sun for my watermelons and my cantaloupe and my honeydew. So all, all my melons, I want to make sure everything is great. I mean, I want to make sure that my plants do well and they get properly pollinated because I need some fruits. I be so and I get too excited when I see uh, female fruits. It's like, oh my gosh, it's a girl. There you go, right there. Bag up just a little. So yeah, that's the one with the fruit and this is what it looks like, what the male flower looks like. So yeah. Oh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also hit that bell notification. So it lets you know when I post another video, which is always on Wednesday at 12.15 p.m. So please, thanks for watching. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Thanks, you guys. Thanks to all my subscribers and who are subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate you. Have a nice day. Peace.